This is a quaha, a subspecies of the plain zebra extinct for more than a hundred years. It was mounted and studied by naturalist Reinhard Rao at the South African Museum in Cape Town. George Asal with the museum and project knew Rao. The one that started um, the Quagga project is uh, my former colleague and mentor, uh, Mr. Reinhold Rao, who passed away two years ago. When he remounted the, uh, the Cape Quagga, he found tissue, which he then collected, and he sent it to two groups of American scientists who did DNA testing. And they found that the quagga is actually a subspecies of the plains zebra. Therefore, the main gene pool still exists within the plains zebra. Unlike zebras that still roam parts of South Africa, the quagga had vivid stripes on the front of the body only. The last one died in 1883 at an Amsterdam zoo. Quaha project coordinator Craig Lardner says the effort to bring back the species was begun by Rao in 1979. He then started a selective breeding program of a, a, a quaha, a plain zebra, trying to breed out the, the continual striping, trying to breed back into the animal, the, um, or should I rather use the word revival rather than breeding back, because understand is you cannot bring something back from extinction, but you can revive a subspecies. Lardner agrees with zoologist Peter Lloyd, who says species loss is irreversible. It would be very unfair to say you have recreated the quagga. And there's also a danger. Uh, and the danger is that you could create the wrong impression to people and say that once an animal is extinct, don't worry, we can always recreate it. This is a special set of circumstances. There are several subspecies. They're using one of the subspecies and its lack of striping in certain individuals to try and produce an animal that looks similar in external appearance to the, the quagga. Visitors at Cape Town's South African Museum are enthusiastic about the project. In this museum, they just see the quagga as a, as a, as a, a model, as a statue, but to see it alive, I mean, it's uh, quite an experience. As God created those animals, it's, it's up to us as human beings to accept them and to appreciate what God has created for us. So I think it's good that the scientists are recreating this animal. I think it's very good. Project scientists say that while they have been able to breed animals appearing similar to the extinct species, humankind must know that once extinct, a species is lost forever. All Cisco, VOA News.